Good morning. I'm Teresa Shaw, and thank you for joining me for Devotions this morning. We have been talking a lot about forgiveness and forgiving others and how many times you're supposed to forgive others. And it seems like you continue to forgive. Well, you know, in order to forgive also, we know that God's love is important, but we also know that trust and confidence in Jesus Christ is key as well. If you just think about it, you picture Jesus. He was alone in the Garden of Gethsemane. You remember he was desert deserted by even his closest disciples. He is preparing to face the painful death of crucifixion. Not only will he die an innocent man, he will experience a bitter separation from his heavenly father and the agony of bearing the punishment for the sins of his people. How does our Lord respond to this moment of tremendous trial and testing? Well, he simply yet powerfully responds, response pricks our consciousness as he speaks the ultimate prayer of trust and confidence. My Father, if it be possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Man, that comes from Matthew 26, 39. Can there be a more graphic demonstration of trust in God? Can there be a better example of submission to our Heavenly Father's will? Jesus' actions and attitude provide a model to all believers of how we are to face the difficult task and the emotional, spiritual, and physical structures that God ordains for us. Script, scripture reminds us that we are not to be surprised when suffering and trials come into our lives. And that comes from 1 Peter, um, first chapter, 6 through the 7th verses, uh, 4 through the 12th um, verses. Rather, we are to rejoice that God is refining in us the precious jewel of faith, which is far greater worth than gold. Every problem with our children, each disagreement with our husbands, each stressful assignment at our jobs provides an opportunity to call on God to strengthen our faith, to develop our persever perseverance, to build our character, and to ground our hope deeper in Him. So may God grant us an increase in our trust in Him, even as Jesus displayed. May he build in us precious Christian character refined in the, in the furnace of his dis disciple and love. Well, this kind of helps us to remember that if we are to forgive God, we must remember how he forgave us as he was alone and prepared for his death. And so he has continued to forgive us for all of our sins. So why wouldn't we forgive each other? I thank you for joining me today for Devotions and I look forward to seeing you again. I'm Teresa Shaw and have a wonderful week.